Before I start this video, I just want to put in a little disclaimer or like a trigger warning, just in case, because I know for me, sometimes if I hear other people talk about it, it can trigger some things in my brain, in my mind. We will be talking about eating disorders, more specifically binge eating. I won't be going too, too in depth, but just that general topic and touching a little bit on alcohol. Not too much though, let's get into it. So I have been pretty open and vulnerable about my experiences, my journey, I guess, through binge eating. And if you wanna see one of the first videos that I made about it, I can link that for you. So it's been three years since I first realized that my actions were not normal, like not what normal people go through, what people should be feeling. And I that's when I kind of knew that it was a problem, you could say. I wanna put emphasis on the title of this video. It's how I quote unquote stopped binge eating because for me, I believe that some people can completely heal from things, but others can kind of still have that in the back of their mind. That's something that they went through. They It's kind of like buried underneath. So for me, I haven't felt the way that I used to feel. I haven't done the actions mentally and physically that I used to do in probably a good full year now. Um, and so that part of me is like fully recovered, but I still have some moments where, you know, it's, Obviously we don't eat the same thing every single day unless you're like prep, meal prepping, prepping, and like you know exactly the certain amount of calories you're eating. But most of us, we eat more some days, we eat less some days. And for me, I've gone through those stages where, um, you know, there's a box of cookies. I eat more cookies than normal than I usually would, that I should, but the progress that I've made is amazing for me. And I just wanted to share that, you know, like, that it really does get better. If you feel you're at a low point, which I was at such a low point in my life and mentally um, and the way that I viewed myself physically, it does get better. Stopped is a term used lightly because there, I still have some moments, but the moments are not how they used to be. There's progress that has been made. Ew, I just spit everywhere. And before I actually was kind of in denial, I thought that my binge eating was not severe enough to be considered an eating disorder. I didn't think that my feelings were valid. So I just kind of labeled it as like bad eating habits. Looking back at it, yes, it was bad. Everyone's at different stages in their lives. So some people feel that they're over here, down here, but your feelings are valid. You know, whatever you feel is valid and you should not degrade yourself. You should not, or I don't know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, the first thing was kind of realizing what this was. I feel like I was taught in school about, many people are taught in school about what eating disorders are, but in my brain, I kind of seen it as this one, one way. And so even though I had this knowledge of what eating disorders were, it was only kind of one picture for me. So. I didn't even know that I was binge eating for a long time until I was like, this is not normal, you know? And it got to the point where it was so bad that mentally I couldn't take it anymore. And I was like, I need, I felt that I needed some kind of help, but I didn't know what kind of help I could get. I was ashamed and guilty, so I didn't want to tell anyone. But then I was also like, if I don't tell anyone, then I'm not going to be going anywhere, you know? I didn't tell anyone. Not really. Literally, I went on the internet and I searched how to stop binge eating or what binge eating was, this and that. Those kind of made me realize that, yeah, this, what I had was a binge eating disorder and um, this is the steps that I could take to stop. And a video that I watched was from Tessa Baresi, I think. And she had this quote and it was like, when you feel like you're about to binge, just like kind of tell yourself, I have an urge and it will pass. And so for so long, I tried, I tried each time. I was like, I have an urge, no will pass. I would tell myself in my head, I tried so, so hard. I tried and tried and tried. Um, I wrote down what I wanted to eat every single day. I tried to buy these meal plans. I tried to use a calorie tracker. I tried to weigh my food. I tried everything. I tried it all. I tried, I tried, I tried. I just wanted to stop. I just wanted to get rid of these feelings um, these thoughts and I couldn't there was a period of time where I wanted to stop eating at a certain time In the night because I felt if I ate past that time I would pass these calories. I would um, Get the lowest calorie counting meal at every single restaurant. I 
I tried so hard, I restricted so hard, and that is one of the worst things that you can do is restrict. That's why I was having these binge eating episodes is because the whole day I was like, don't have that, don't have that, just don't have it, don't have it, don't have it, and at the end of the day, what did I do? I had it all, <laughs> I had every single thing that I was suppressing throughout the whole day. That's the number one thing, is to stop the restricting. So once you stop the restricting, okay, then maybe you're gonna allow yourself to have these little things throughout the day, okay? That's fine. Um, but then what comes in is to understand control and boundaries, if that makes sense. You really just have to be in tune with your body and your mind. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like each meal, each day, just take it day by day and just when you eat, just kind of think to yourself, what are the cues that I feel when I have the food in and you feel satisfied? What are the cues to when you're starting to feel full? What are the cues to when you're starting to, when you feel like you're stuffed and kind of the levels? Um, as I explained before, I was at the levels where I would feel sick to my stomach. So once I had those cues and once I felt that worst part of what my binge eating was, I knew that I never wanted to feel like that again. And so I started to kind of um, understand my body and how much it needed. And a big thing was what do I need and what do I want, right? So if you're hungry, yeah, you need food. You're gonna eat your food. But after you're done, do you need more or do you want more? If you, if you finish your meal and you still feel like you're hungry, you need more food. But if you finish your food and you're full, but your mind just wants more food, then it's then you're gonna end up eating more than what you needed, right? Needing and wanting, that was a big thing. Once the having an urge, it will pass kind of died away. It was after every meal, it was like, let's say for me, dessert was a big thing at restaurants. I would eat this full appetizer, full meals. And while I love my desserts, I love my chocolates, was it something that I needed or wanted? <laughs> and like, you have to find that balance because yeah, if you want a chocolate chip cookie, eat the chocolate chip cookie. But if you're already not feeling well and you want those chocolate, you know, like it's just gonna, it's just a constant cycle. For me, it was like eating the appetizer, eating the dinner, and after I was full, but I just wanted the dessert because my I wanted it. Eventually, I got to a point where I was like, I don't need the dessert, so I'm not gonna get the dessert. I'm satisfied as to where I am right now, and if I if I eat that, I know that I will not feel well. That's kind of where being in tune with your mind and your body comes into play. You just have to just really think about it. I mean, don't overthink it, but you do have to think about what, you, what you're what you feeling. I tried the whole uh, not watching TV, not watching YouTube while you're eating because then you will kind of realize those cues more because if you're just watching um, on your phone, you're eating a bag of chips, you're just gonna end up eating the whole bag of chips, right? So even with that, what I did was instead of bringing the whole bag of chips with me to the TV, I would just pour it in a bowl and just bring that bowl. If I wanted more, if I needed, if, if I needed more, if I wanted more, I would have some more. But I wasn't going to, I would tell myself, I'm not going to finish this whole bag. I'm not gonna finish this whole box. I am in control. And so I will control how much I need to eat and how much I want to eat that same balance that I told you. And yeah, I had to tell myself every over and over and over again, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to eat the whole ice cream bin. I'm not going to eat all of the popsicles at once. You know, like I'm going to control my, I am in control of my body, right? You are. No one else can control you. You can't control anyone else. Right? You're the only person who can control how you feel and what you do. I mean, like in this sense, I guess. Sorry. I said I can't do it anymore. I can't restrict anymore. It was a whole, probably a whole year of trying things that didn't work. So it takes time. 
progress, you know, there were times where I thought I was getting better and then I would crash back down and I was like, oh, not again, the whole cycle all over again. So how I stopped was I stopped restricting and then I told myself that I am in control and I just told myself over and over and over again, I can do it. I got this. I'm in control. And then that's where it began to get a little better. For me, it was like stages. It was struggle. Then it was realization. It was struggle. Then it was realization of what I needed to do and how I could get better. It was struggle <laughs> into trial and error, into research, trying things, getting better, going back down to struggle, getting better, trying, trying, putting in my all and and getting better into recovery. You know, it is a journey of a recovery, you know, getting back to not normal, but better, you know, getting back to a better place mentally and while I say that I feel that I have had amazing progress I feel like I'm on that route to a full recovery I am struggling right now in, in something that I didn't think that would affect me but working with food I'm surrounded by food all day every day um, but no while I'm working I am surrounded by food and a setback was that I wasn't realizing that I was constantly just wanting, let's say for example, these cookies or um, just like a dessert. And I was constantly wanting that like throughout my entire shift. And like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get one after. Like, you know, every day I would come in like, oh wow, I'm craving this, I'm craving that. Trust me, I have been allowing myself to have a cookie or two every day that I'm there and it's like, I kind of feel like I'm falling back in just that sense. It's hard, you know, and that sometimes taking a toll on my mental health um, because of my struggles with binge eating and in the past and kind of getting to a good place and I feel like I'm falling back, but I'm actually not because I'm, I have never, I have not, like I said, I have not felt the, that way that I used to feel in a very, very long time. And to me, that is progress. So it feels like I'm falling back, but I'm actually not. You know, I'm actually just doing the normal things, but sometimes it's hard mentally. And I'm like, sometimes I'm like, maybe this is not a good idea to be working surrounded by food all the time. It's okay. My next video, it's gonna be kind of this style again, is going to be talking about why I seen Danny call, can, what's her name? Danny Cimarelli, but her name's Danny Caliero. I don't know. She made a video on why she's 21 and, and doesn't drink. And I've never related to a video more in my life. And I thought, wow, this would be something good to talk about, um, to be more open about that kind of area of my life. And again, be vulnerable, be truthful, because I feel like sometimes that's what the internet needs. Sorry, so that's gonna be the next video, but I just wanted to touch into that my binge eating habits did play a role into or a factor into um, 